what you're going to see here is about a 600 foot tall tower a commercial structure which is going to be a concrete core and steel structure well at first it was a lot of talking on paper you know drawings and ideas and mostly because of the limitations of the street use here a lot of pedestrians there at the bus facility right next door we had lots of different ideas going back and forth about how to place the concrete. Over literally a couple of years, we, we refined that to um, a system where we're gonna be able to, to still have pedestrian use in front, but, but use two pumps in and out uh, on a daily basis. So when we started talking about this large map pour, which is about 10,000 cubic yards, typically on a map pour, you have concrete pumps with outriggers on the street. You get as many as you can in this situation. We realized that we didn't have enough space for that. We need as many mixers on the street as possible to get concrete offload as quickly as possible. So what we did was we took those pump trucks that are typically on the street and we flew them down into the hole with a crane. We put three, three machines on the north side and three machines on the south side so we had adequate reach for the whole mat, which allowed us to use less space with just line pumps on the street. 12 mixers could be unloading all at the same time that way. It saved quite a few hours in the overall production of the map pour. Pour went almost exactly as planned. We had a timeline of, of what we were going to do, how long it was going to take. We knew we were going to be able to do about 700 cubic yards per hour, and we achieved just, just exactly what we thought we would do. Stoneway had truck service. They had lots of personnel here to make the trucks flow in and out of the pumps as efficiently as possible. Turner put up a great set up on the street that allowed a lot of space for those mixers to get in and out. Time is money and, and because of the space and the way they set it up, we were able to get trucks in as efficiently as ever on a big map pour like this. So everything went flawless. There was no downtime whatsoever. All in all, this pour went off exactly like we wanted it to.